What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are doing well on this Sunday. Even in apologies, this video is out a bit late. It was meant to be out this morning, but I've had a few technical issues again. But yeah, now the video is out. Make sure you do let me know your thoughts on the game, different performances, etc. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Really do appreciate the continued support. Make sure you do smash a like on the video and subscribe if you're new as well. Match preview will be out tomorrow evening around probably 6 o'clock. So... Just, um, yeah, keep up to date on socials and on the community page. But, yeah, getting into the game. Uh, finish Port Vale 2, Bristol Rovers 0. Um, you know, where to really start, to be honest, because it's, it's sort of hard, you know, having had time to think about it. Um, you know, yes, you know, we were safe mid-table coming off the back of some good performances like I said in the preview coming off the back of through away wins in a row uh you know hoping to get our ninth away win of the season and yeah like I said you know we were playing pretty well but then you know when the performance comes in like that yesterday I know like a lot of people would say on the beach etc but when you know when you've got fans going there and you know, 700 fans considering the season done for us, you know, and the the, the players put in a performance like that, it's, it's so frustrating, you know. Um, you know, obviously the lineup come out, uh, quite a few changes. Jed Ward was given his, his first uh, League One start of the season. His, only his second appearance ever, of course. His other appearance was in the, the relegation season, the last away game at Blackpool, um, obviously within the COVID period. So... I thought he was one of few bright sparks to be honest. I really liked his this distribution. Uh his kick in was really good. Um, you know, if there was someone to give it to, he would it would give it to him. Looked confident. But like I said in my reaction and you know, from my post on Twitter, he was let down with everyone in, in front of him, to be honest. You know, Gibson, you know, was okay but looks shaky you know Connolly honestly Connolly is probably his worst game in a in a Rovers shirt I don't know why he was so bad he was hobbling around I don't know if he was injured I don't know what but he was I don't usually like calling players out but he was he was terrible that right hand side you know Sinclair was non-existent um Gibbons of course he hasn't played in a while but Barton was trying him out and trying a few different players out. But it's the one thing that sort of is interesting is that, you know, Barton says, and he said after the game, you know, even if you have a contract, Barton doesn't mind getting rid of you. You know, if you're not putting the effort or doing the basics right, you know, Barton doesn't mind getting rid of players. And, you know, for a lot of players yesterday, you've got to look at, you know, again, Sam Finley as well. He hasn't been good for a while. I know he's had his injury issues and been out with a few games with suspension, but he hasn't been good for a while. And I don't know what happened to him today. Uh, and yeah, it was just it was just really really poor all over. There's only a few bright spots, like I said, Jed Ward. Um, the problem is when we play poorly, and a lot of the time Collins is really the only few of the creative sparks you know he tried getting on the ball but didn't have any success he kept trying throughout the whole game uh like i said finley was poor coburn goes down too easy not strong enough i know he's had a, a really good season for us but yeah he's just not strong enough um i'm not going to say a lot about the subs I, i'm just going to mainly say about the the first team I, I thought gordon was was decent at least when they Someone did get past him, he would stop the cross. Obviously, he changed, took him off and changed the formation, you know, in the second half. But I didn't think Gordon done too much wrong. I thought Bogard was one of the few players trying to make something and, and Grant Ward as well. But, yeah, you know, I thought Gibson, yeah, Gibson and Connolly. Connolly didn't win a single. I didn't think any of the team won a single first or second ball today. Um... And like I said, yeah, Gibbons, watching Gibbons, Connolly and Sinclair, that right-hand side was was shocking. Um, I thought Barton would have known Gibbons isn't good enough. 
but he still played him, which is fair enough. You know, a few games left, might as well try it out. We're mathematically safe, but Port Vale just, Port Vale just wanted it. A quick start from them, and to be fair, it was probably one of their easiest wins of the season. They haven't had many wins, but like I said before, they were two wins in 18 before they played us, and yes, you know, if... They won yesterday, and they deserved it. They deserved it. The first 20 minutes, we didn't have a clue. For the whole game, we didn't have a clue, really. It was just one of those on-the-beach games, really poor. I don't want to go too angry because we've had we've had a good season coming up from, from League 2, but it, it was just disappointing. I think that's one of the words to use is, is disappointing. And, you know, with Plymouth left to play on Tuesday, hopefully, like we usually do, we play better against the better teams, but that's going to be... One hell of a tough game at home. Uh, won 18 out of 21 home games um, on good form. They won again on the weekend, so going to be 16,000 plus there as well. So that's going to be a tough one. But yeah, like I said, let me know your thoughts on, on the game. Uh, and yeah, make sure you stay tuned for the Plymouth pre preview that will be out tomorrow. And yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Up the gas.